literally look like Kim Possible. Hello and welcome to a week of what I eat. So for Monday I'm starting off with some chia pudding and then when I get home from work I'm going to make up a quick salad with spring mix, some tomato, cucumber, then I'm a fan of just throwing a little bit of tofu in the air fryer with some seasoning, letting it go for a couple minutes, and then just tossing it in the salad for a good bit of protein. So what you'll notice in this video is that everything I eat, you will see a nutritional guide on it because this week I am tracking everything that I'm eating and I'm really trying to focus on getting as much protein as possible. And the reason that I'm doing this is because last year I lost about 25 pounds, but I did it in a very unsustainable way. So I have been battling with hunger and binge eating and just cycles of unhealthy eating behaviors. So I'm trying to figure out what works best for my body. And I'm trying to determine if I up my protein amount, if that will help with my hunger. So that is the reason that I will be tracking what I'm eating this week. My dogs are in the background fighting per usual. Let's see how this pasta came out. So the pasta should be 24 grams of protein with the tofu, 34 grams of protein, and then with the vegetables, I'm sure there's like another miscellaneous five grams of protein. Did you see the one? Look at them. Every day. Well, at least they keep each other exercised. This pasta is very good, but there's always a but. I guess it's not really a but. It's just not the same texture as like flour pasta, but obviously that's to be expected. It's like if you have lentil pasta or chickpea pasta, but at least those pastas, they're similar, but they're kind of like grainy. This one is just really dense, but not like in a bad way. It's good. I'm going to shut up and eat now. I make homemade soy yogurt about a couple times a month, so I thought I would show you guys. Really, all I do is buy this plain soy milk. There's nothing in it but soybeans and water. And then I open up a couple capsules of probiotics and I mix it up really good. And then I throw it in the Instant Pot and hit yogurt. And it sits in there for about 12 hours. And you could do this without an Instant Pot. You would just have to keep it in a warm area for 12 to 24 hours. And when this comes out, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't think I mixed in the probiotics well enough, but you'll see it's not as thick as it should be. But there's ways around that. If you add in some pudding mix, it will make it nice and thick as you see here. I don't know, you guys. I'm just exhausted from tr for trying to figure out what works for my body, but what also works with my values. But I'm gonna stop talking. Enjoy my lunch of this rice cake and guac and my pasta. I am still hungry, so I have some mashed potatoes with some corn and some peas and some hot sauce. I'm gonna eat this and then decide what I want for dinner. I'm gonna finish up this Lenny's, this Lenny and Larry's cookie. I ate half of it Sunday. I can never eat like one of these in one sitting. To satisfy a sweet tooth craving, but still kind of be healthy slash sustenance you know these are really good i never really have a desire to make anything for breakfast when i go to work so have my banana i have that leftover guac and half a bagel breakfast of champions i made a salad when i got home but i almost ate all of it before i realized i had to film <laughs> <laughs> 
I just made some more guac, so I'll probably have some guac with the rice cakes and then I'll figure out what I'm doing for dinner. I still have that protein pasta, so I might have that protein pasta with some tofu and some veggies. But I will say that my breakfast, that bagel and the guac, I actually did feel fuller from that for a lot longer. Um, Usually around one o'clock when I'm starting to leave work, I'm starving and I get home and I wanna eat everything, but I was pretty good. So I'm thinking maybe it's a fat thing, but I'm definitely over counting calories already. I hate counting calories. It's good just to show me like a general overview, kind of what I should be eating so that I'm not overeating and I'm not under eating, but doing it every day, uh, uh, pass. I have my protein noodles with some peas, carrots, onions, cabbage, zucchini, and then I threw some sesame and green onion and sriracha on top because I'm extra, extra. Here's more of that yogurt for dessert. I put a chocolate pudding pouch in it this time and you can see it's thicker, but this batch just came out all wrong, but it was still good. Just having a literal plain bagel and an apple for breakfast today, but I do have some snacks in my truck. I'm saving those for the weekend, but I'm very bad at having snacks in my possession and not eating them, so we'll see what happens. I'm running a little behind, so I'm just gonna eat a banana and maybe a couple of rice cakes, and then gonna go do upper body. Honestly, this week was kind of whack for me. I've been in my feelings about my eating habits because I know that there's improvements that I can make so that I'm just happier overall. But on top of that, I was feeling physically weak. Some days you just really don't want to go to the gym and you force yourself to and you kind of stumble your way through workouts. But looking back on it, I'm glad that I went because I, I make enough excuses. Sometimes you just got to get in there and even if your workout is whack, at least you moved your body for today. So today's workout consisted of a warm up, some overhead presses. I worked on my pull ups. As you can see, I'm disappointed, but I keep on working because my goal is to be able to do an unassisted pull up and chin up. And then I go into TRX rows and push ups. And I'm also super weak with push ups. I pretty much always do them modified, but I'm getting closer and closer to being able to bust them out normal. And then I work on my handstands because doing that actually makes me happy. So I just work on my handstands and I even try to get a one-handed handstand, but that's not gonna, that's not gonna work. Um, a banana, some ice, some of my soy yogurt, and then some of the instant pudding mix and some ice. And it should get nice and fluffy and big, and I think I'm gonna put some chocolate chippies on top and maybe something else. Good morning, I am at the gym. It's 5.50 a.m. in the morning. I have training with one of my favorite coaches. I just drank my pre-workout, so I'm super hype. And I actually see that my friend is here at the gym. So I get to see my friend. And then after this, I have to go to an investing seminar. It's a three day seminar. I'm kind of sad because I would have had a four day weekend because it's Memorial Day weekend. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to learn new things um, because I'm not trying to work for the rest of my life. But I'm going on a tangent. I'm gonna hit the gym, 
Today is lower body day and I'll be back. So I'm at the investing seminar. It's at Lake Las Vegas and it's super cool because I wanted to come here anyway to rent some paddle boards and maybe an electric boat. But I am learning a lot and we're on lunch break right now and see there's a little inflatable jungle gym here and you can rent paddle boards and kayaks. But I just wanted to show that I'm by the lake being fancy. But headed back to the seminar to learn more. Does anybody else's glasses always get stuck in their mask like that? Anyways, I'm having an internal debate with myself. I don't know if I should just make food at the house or get a Whopper, but you guys take a guess at what I'm gonna do and you'll see it next. If you even know me a little, you know that I chose Burger King. So I got two Impossible Whoppers, no mayo, and then they had this big old sign that was like 10 nuggets for $1.49. So I had to get some nuggets too. But I did go to the grocery store and get french fries and I just made the, made the french fries myself. I don't know, it's the cheapness in me. And if that wasn't enough, I wanted something sweet, so I made another protein bowl with lots of toppings. So, I do this to myself every weekend without fail. I do good Monday through Thursday, sometimes Sunday through Thursday. I get down to my normal weight the weight that I like to be at. And then I kind of binge eat Friday night, Saturday night, and I get so bloated and I feel so bad about myself. And then I do it again the next day and I get on the scale and it's six, sometimes 10 pounds more than my normal weight, my goal weight. And I just start the cycle all over again. This is a better visual. Like this, that. <laughs> if I suck in, look, if I suck in, I almost have abs. So when I actually looked back at those calories, I realized that tracking calories was a very important tool for me this week because I didn't realize how much I was actually eating on Fridays and Saturdays when I do my mini binge. And as you'll see in my last dinner of the week, there's much more sustainable ways that I can eat and still be happy. One thing I've always wanted to learn how to do is, is ride a bike with no hands. I always practice, but I never succeed. Also, tracking my calories this week has shown me that I'm a little too hard on myself and I'm not doing so bad. So I picked my outfit for today, but I realized that I literally look like Kim Possible. <laughs> I even got, you know, the pocket for the beeper if you need to reach me. So. I think I might change because I don't want to look like Kim Possible. One week of tracking what I eat isn't going to fix anything, but I know it's going to be a useful step in figuring out how to eat intuitively so I can live a healthy, sustainable life.